What is up, YouTube? Uncle Forty here. A couple of interesting tidbits coming out from today. A couple of confirmed rarities coming across. You'll be getting more of these rarities for probably a good chunk of the rest of the night. So expect more news to be coming out here. Just wanted to touch on the first chunk here. Multi-roll is confirmed secret rare. We do not have Startup Engage yet. We do not have Shizuku or Kagari. Just kind of wet in the lips a little bit. Lore of Darkness getting another super reprint. Golly gee, thanks Konami. We need more of those. Mecha Hornet Bit is in fact a super rare. They're doing us a massive favor with this. But like I said, I'm expecting Startup Engage to be coming across as a secret rare. Same thing with Shizuku Kagari. Um, other interesting news. Uh, Maiden herself is a super rare. So we're getting a little bit more fun stuff here. Her official name is going to be Ray. Um, actually really looking forward to that. Um, outside of that, Toon Table got the reprint. We're going to have a discussion tomorrow about cards that I think that you should pick up going forward into the new set. And I wanted to talk about, I talked about the Toon Table engine on there just as something, you know, whether or not it be with the Toon Cyber Dragon and things like that as well. And with this having a complimentary reprint available to you, the player now, this is excellent. You know, I, I do say you should try out the Toon Table engine before you knock it. Because we've seen a lot of things in the TCG and the OCG be different. Um, especially with things like, you know, the Foolish Burial Goods. You know how many times I've seen people dead draw the, the Foolish Burial Goods? But same thing with Toon Table. If you dead draw multiple pieces, it puts you in a shittier position. But the reprints are available for this. I know a lot of people are extremely happy about that. And then the last interesting part coming out from the day. We now have the Police Patrol of the Underworld coming out here. And this is this is rather interesting because this is going to be... There's a lot going down here in the, the summoning or the, the text. Um, you can definitely already know. First off, new waifu confirmed, which is fantastic. Uh, she is driving a fiend police car as well. And you do get to see her wielding a police baton and handcuffs. Um, definitely very curious to know what this is going to do. It's probably going to be some sort of generic fiend support, all for all, and we're going to have to wait and see what this actually does. But I'm definitely, you know, a good example here. Two fiend monsters to make it. Monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by card effects. Since this card's in the graveyard, add uh, one underworld monster from your deck to your hand. So probably be some sort of recruiter for tour guide. I actually really like that effect. I could see that being some sort of balancing clause to this but so far with the current brandish hype rolling on out here uh, there's a lot of stuff coming out today and especially our new friend uh police patrol from the underworld looking very fantastic so far for all this news so my question to you guys is what rarities are you expecting the sky strikers to be and to top things off what do you think our new police patrol of the underworld is going to do i welcome you to please leave a comment down below in the comment section feel free to notify me if i am in fact wrong about these new potential effects, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Later.